So a lot of people liked the Metal Gear Solid maps that I made, and I thought it'd be useful to make a short video explaining how I made them and sharing some of the tools that I used so that other folks can do the same thing I did and improve on the techniques that I used. There are only two things you need to download. There are two really nice tools available by Jay Veer, who's been doing a lot of really awesome work reverse engineering Metal Gear Solid games. There is Rex, which is going to let us extract the files we need from a copy of the game. And there is a plugin for Gnosis that we can use to look at the models themselves in their KMD format. So I'll put three links to these things that you can download, Rex, the plugin, and Gnosis itself. Then you need a copy of the game, whether a physical one or an ISO that you mount. And you need to get the stage.deer file from within the MGS directory there, and that's where we're going to extract the models from. Put the stage.deer file in the same directory as Rex and drag and drop it onto the top of the executable and it'll create a directory for you with these different folders. You can then take a look at these in Gnosis. These folders generally correspond to the stages. The D stages are sort of special ones like the communication towers and some of the uh, opening and closing demos. The S folders are the stages that you encounter in the game in chronological order. You just have to explore to figure out what is where. I've renamed some of these as I went, but I was not comprehensive and I'm sorry that I didn't take very good notes. Once we open up one of these, you can see the geometry, and if you enable the OAR prompt, then you can actually load animation for the models. And you can hit export, which is what I did for the stage geometry. I exported it as FBX without changing any of the options. And for the characters, I would just pose their models with the OAR file in Gnosis and then get screen captures from that. So if you look closely, those are not actually the same exact perspective as the maps themselves in all those cases. Once you've exported the FBX files, you can load them up into Blender. Uh, and I'll show you the settings that I used. I used texture mapping with flat lighting, and I turned off all the different grids and XY systems, and then just got screenshots from this with an isometric grid and put that in Photoshop to act as my base map. From there, I recreated some of the GUI elements with Photoshop fonts and recreated some of the icons from the game and just laid it out. I'm doing similar things for other PlayStation games like Vagrant Story, Mega Man Legends, I'm going to revisit Silent Hill. So feel free to follow me if you're interested in more. Thanks a lot.